Hey guys, it's Scar here. We're back with another episode. Let's get into the video. Because what is this? Wow. Another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Heading to the Sith base. Alright. If this isn't a boss fight, I don't know what is. So we're gonna. I'm gonna beef myself up. Like, a lot. I don't think I need to worry about the hyper adrenaline. Oh, do I, am I out of energy shields? I am out of energy shields. Look at that. There it is. All right, Zalbar. What can I do? Sure. <sighs> Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my. Wait. I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. I'm going to enjoy getting you. Ah, yes. Feed the hatred and anger within yourself. Call upon the power of the dark side. But not even that can save you now. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Oh, so sweet. You don't even have a lightsaber yet. Aww. As long as he doesn't have. What can I do? Yes. Does he have an energy shield? He doesn't have an energy shield. Since he has an energy shield. I don't want to worry about breaking that. Zalbar? Go say hello. With your legal friend. Okay, that hurt me. And all of my feelings. Yes. Well, that's rude. You're rude. You You're cannot jerk. win. Come on. Oh, crap. Bastila? Bastila, you can't go down. You're too strong. Zalbar can take a shot. Use your cure. Take a shot. Zalbar? You're okay. Z that hurt, I said. Zelda, get up, Zelda. Zelda, get up. Get up, Zelda. That hurt, I bet. Yes. Yes. Whew. All three of us tanking him. Easy. Taurus launch pad codes, adrenaline amp flyer, energy shield, strength gauntlets, and neural band. That sounds pretty nice. What's the neural band? I already have one of those. Do you have one? You don't have one. Will increase by two. That's pretty good. Give you an energy shield. Give your, your gun back. 500 credits? Durasteel bonding alloy, computer spikes, light battle armor. Nice. Alright. We did it, boys! We got the launch codes. Which is what, um, what he needed, which is what Candace needed. So we'll head down to the lower city and see what he has to say. Right? Yeah, escaping Taurus. Alright. Let's get on the <laughs> way. Upper City South. <laughs> Don't worry about us. We didn't come out of there. We were just uh, sightseeing inside. We were giving a tour. Get getting a tour given to us by th the people. How are you looking on med packs? 18? Jeez, I use a lot. Where can we buy any? Can we buy any down in the inner city? I don't think so. I think I'll have to. Is Kibla on the Kibla Yurt? Sith Party? Eh. Screw it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm not worried. I'm a little worried. And if we don't have any healing, then we're dead. But, you know, it's whatever. Could go to Larum, but I don't think so. Alright, Candorous. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? 
We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. All right, let's do this. But how do I know? But how are we going to get inside Davik's estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Alright, let's do it. Alright, Candorus, and let's add, uh, let's add Basil. What is this? That's Malik. You summoned me, Lord Malik. Yeah, yeah. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taris. Destroy the entire planet. What? The entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Taris. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Well. Okay. Yes, All right. Lord That's something. So we, what you're telling me is we've got like a few hours to get off this planet, or we're going to die. So, okay. Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Callow. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Good to finally meet you, Davik. My name is Tenscore. You know, Candorus was right. The exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebon Hawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebon Hawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. She isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. 
I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. We already got them. But we should continue our tour. These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about the investigation that. into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Kahlo. Let us leave our guests in peace. Yeah, I'm not worried about you, uh... Bothering other guests. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Sounds good. What you got, yeah. Candorus? Let's level you up. Treat injury? That's probably best case scenario. Because you're probably going to be hurt a lot. <laughs> What's recommended? Sniper shot? Sure. Why not? What you got going for you? Military suit? Light battle armor. Or Ordo's repeating blaster. Yeah. Strength gauntlets. Everybody gets strength. Fortitude. Reflex. Give you some reflexes. No implants or anything else? That's fine. Looking good, Candorus. Alright. Get out of the way. What do you got, what do you got to say? Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any interesting stories. You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. Hmm. It's through combat that we prove our worth gain renown, and make our fortunes. Is that why you work as a mercenary? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle, and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Interesting. Candorus. Candorus has told you a little bit about himself. He told you of the great wars and battles his people has fought before and how he has been reduced to serving on to serving Davik on a backward backwater world. He seemed to regret mentioning anything. Perhaps you should speak to him about this later. Seems reluctant right now. Yeah. Okay, so I need to talk to Karth, Candorus, and ask a little later. Alright, what's this? Standard door. Let's explore this area first. Close security door. No problem. <laughs> exactly Guy, what I was thinking. What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here! I'll call the guards. Yeah, I'm not Udo. worried. The Udo. guards. Udo. The slaves aren't allowed Udo. out Udo. of the slave Udo. quarters. Udo. I can't let them see me Udo. here. Hey, baby, wait! I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. You can't call the guards if you're dead. You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're going to have to take you out of here in pieces. I'm not worried about you, you scrub. He's a target in my face. Oh, there's more. Bring it on. I'm not worried about Davik's guards. <laughs> you scrubs. You hot. 
of nothing on me, the powers that I possess. I feel like I'm... What's his face? I don't know his name. Let's get your door. No problem. He said, don't bother the guards, but... Who are you? Why are you here? Get out. Let me call the guards. I'm gonna die, bug face. I'm mad now. See how you call... See you like me call guards. You die now. Uh, I just killed the guards. You dumb Rodian. Get out of here. Want more guards? Oh, more of you. Alright. Thought I killed you all, but apparently not. There's more loot from your dead bodies. How much of a dark side character am I? I'm pretty down there. Oh, I'm actually more evil than Candor's. Bass is definitely high on the light side, though. Which is kind of funny. Foot locker. Parts, coats, and med pack. Yes, I actually need a lot of med packs. Get out to A. I'm here. Use a. Uh, yes. I figure I can tab over. I can tab character instead of having to click on them. No problem. Got it. Oh, what's in here? What the heck? Come on. Whoa, you've killed some beasts. Rancor. Cathound. No idea. No idea. I don't know. Nope. Not sure. Nope. You've killed a lot of stuff, though. That's impressive. Rank Got it. Data pad, credits, and pizzazz cards. Okay, what's the data pad? Uh, data pad. This data pad contains a record of Kalinor's kill trophy kills, sentiment, and other sentient and otherwise. The last entry is an account of a recent Rancor hunt. With a Rancor lacked. It, with a Rancor lacked intelligence and made up for in size, strength, and ferocity. Conventional blasters were all but useless against its impenetrable hide, and I was forced to resort to more unorthodox methods to bring the beast down. Some, uh, some well-placed mines near a watering hole were the first step, their explosions herding the creature into a dead-end canyon where I lay wait, perching among the rocks. As soon as the rancor was below me, I dropped down onto its massive neck. I reared back, it, it reared back, bucking and clawing at an effort to dislodge me, but I had a perfect position. Unable to shake me, the monster opened its mouth in an outraged howl, and I was able to flip several frag grenades down its gaping maw. The explosion blew me clear off the shredded corpse, but luckily, the head was still intact. If I take it to the Taurus, I'm sure Davik will mount it on the trophy room, along with the other heads I have collected for him. Devik's also expressed interest in hiring me. I may take him up on the offer, even though I still have yet to claim the greatest hunting trophy of all, a pearl from one of those... Cryat, dra cryat, cryat, dragons of Tatooine. Dragons? Okay. All right. There's pro dragons in the world. That's no problem. that's good. Got it. Pizzazz card and hair trigger. If we find another one of those uh, workbenches, we could really level up these guys' weapons. What's this way? Is this the slave quarters? I guess. Yeah. I don't care about you guys. You guys are scrubs. Foot locker. What do we got? Peter Spike. Parts and credits. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna end the video here before we uh, finish exploring Davik's estate. We made it in, took out the Sith, got the Sith launch codes, and we are ready to get off of this planet before Malak destroys it. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in another video. Bye.